Welcome to another video for 7 Days to Die. This is Stone Rick, and I'm just going to give you a quick video of the chemistry station. So all the things that you can find in a chemistry station can also be found in the fire as well. Apart from the fertiliser, uh, this cast can, and strawberry extract. However, what I will tell you guys is if you come over to the fire, the things that can be uh, crafted in the fire, such as the gas can, the glue, which costs you two bones, three cornmeal for the grain alcohol, um, antibiotics costs you four, three, one, and five, three, 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 and one for the herbal antibiotics. However, if we go over to the chemistry station, as you see, um, antibiotics just costs you one, one, and one, and herbal antibiotics two, one, 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 and one. And again, with the grain alcohol, it's just one apiece, as well as the glue as well. Uh, the fertilizer can be made in the cement mixer, guys. Um, it costs you a little bit more uh, than the chemistry station, as you see, one, ten, and three. We do actually go over to the chemistry, uh, the cement mixer, uh, as you see, it costs you slightly different materials as well, ten, fifteen, and ten. Um, so I believe that's a bit dearer than. Uh, the actual chemistry station. Um, obviously, uh, human turds can be found in the toilet, you know how to find them, guys. Um, so it just depends what you've got, uh, depending on the fertilizer. But everything else, a lot more uh, cost effective using the chemistry station. Also, with the gunpowder, it costs you half in your backpack. Uh, if you do this in your backpack, it will cost you two and two. So you're getting half the amount that you would do in the chemistry station. Uh, the only difference is obviously doing it in the chemistry station. The only time you're going to get XP is while you're sat in the chemistry station. If you come out of the chemistry station, go away. When you come back, it'll all be done for you, which is great, but you won't get any XP for it at all. So what I normally do is I tend to do this when I'm AFK. Um, and if I've got a lot of um, gunpowder to make, I can even make them a backpack um, as well if I really must and get double the XP, uh, but again, doing it in the backpack is going to waste your gunpowder, so I tend to just leave it in chemistry station, turn it off when I'm playing, go AFK and come back to it, obviously when you're sharing a base, like I am with a few mates, obviously it's, um, you'll come back and someone else has gone in there, and they stole your XP, so uh, swings and roundabouts. Um, to get the uh, chemistry station, it's quite costly as uh, you see. You need to, it's locked behind a perk, so to actually unlock it, you need to um, cost you 15 points. But to unlock the actual perk itself, you need to get your construction level up to 50, which I have done, and my science to 15, which unfortunately I haven't done that yet. So my science, which is this thing here, is only level 8. To get my science up, craft medical supplies, uh, so bandages, um, Anything, anything medical, um, so even doing um, out grain alcohol as well, that'll get you, um, your science up a bit as well. So, once you've done that, you'll need to actually make a chemistry station. And you'll need to find two beakers, a burning barrel, not just a, a barrel, but a burning barrel, a cooking pot, you need three of those, 15 pipes and 40 wood. Then you'll be able to make yourself a chemistry station. Uh, but as you see, I haven't unlocked it. Someone else might have done, but no, no. It was myself that got this. Um, all I did is go into any towns. You know, the big towns over here. And uh, you can see another one here, just the beginning of one. And you go into the pop and pills in the back. You'll be able to see a chemistry station. Get yourself a wrench and steal yourself a chemistry station. As you see, just pop straight into your inventory and you can come put it in your oops, press the wrong button there. Uh, pop it in your base. So that's it guys. Um a quick a quick video of how to use the chemistry station. I've also done one on the workbench, uh, which is over here. You'll be able to find that um, on my channel. If you do one one for the uh, cement mixer as well uh, let me know any other videos suggestions please drop me a comment drop me a like and um thanks for watching the video it's been stoned rick 
and happy gaming.